course, that just puts focus onto this infrastructure around AI and the build out that's happening in the UK, in Europe and globally as well. One of the, the, the big focuses now is how long can NVIDIA keep the dominance it has in the data center? There are a bunch of startups coming up saying, well, the GPUs are not fit for purpose. They're too power hungry and we need to rethink the architecture around chips in the data center. One of those startups is Fractal, a UK-based startup who's hoping to become UK and Europe's answer more broadly to NVIDIA. I caught up with Walter Goodwin, who's the CEO of Fractal, and asked him about how he expects, as a startup, to get his foot into the data center. One of the things uh, Jensen's actually, you know, points out is things like AI hardware, AI chips, it's an infinite game. You know, the nature of the models that we want to accelerate, they evolve every single year. The scale at which we need to run these, these models evolves every single year. And so when you're looking at one of these kind of exponential curves, you're always really right at the start of it, right? The, the build out is yet to come. The chips we put in data centers, we now replace them every three or four years. And so really, it's a game where everything is at stake for the incumbent you know as a challenger that build out is happening anew every few years and that's really how we hope to enter the market in the data center going forward right now it's so jam-packed uh, with these nvidia gpus do you see a world in which there's more diversity of supply or a world in which nvidia's dominance is is shaken quite substantially I think that's definitely coming. You know, we've never before had such a vast market for such, in a way, a narrow form of technology. You know, we think about other multi-trillion dollar tech companies, they normally have some kind of a network effect or, you know, a unique kind of technology lock-in. Here, this is an open game in a sense. You know, you can build hardware that is qualitatively better. You know, it probably has to be orders of magnitude better in some direction. But I really think there are a number of people who will work to widen, you know, to bring more diversity, as it were, to the hardware that we use. And I think that pace of evolution in what needs to be run is really why, you know, this, this is a market that gets shaken up every few years. That was Walter Goodwin, the CEO of Fractal. Uh, and clearly NVIDIA right now still very much the gold standard. If we see these huge infrastructure announcements around the world, it's all based on NVIDIA's GPUs. But there are, like I said, a number of starts hoping uh, to get in. Very interesting comments there from Walter Goodwin because he was saying totally. the, the way we have a chance there is because the data center chips, they need to be replaced every three, four years. And when that cycle happens, there's a chance for us to get in if we've got a product. Uh, and of course, saying that this build out we're talking about in AI uh, infrastructure is only just at the beginning. So I think it's fascinating right now, all to play for. The question is whether NVIDIA's first move, ad move advantage we've seen so far is going to keep it in a dominant position for a longer period of time.